MEMCOM uh, is this uh, initiative that also came out of NIH and the National Library of Medicine to establish uh, communication sites using satellite uh, for scientific research. And I, I know that most of the MIMCOM was set up in practically all those Af African countries where there was research support from the NIH as a means of getting them to talk to each other and mm -hmm. also getting access to the internet. I think it was one of the most wonderful advancement to scientific research that was put in place uh, in Africa. For us, when MIMCOM came on, I was at Noguchi as the director of Noguchi, and it was a big help for the scientists to be able to come to work, turn on their computers, and be on the net, look for information, assess databases, do whatever it is that they have to do, and above all, be advised of calls for proposals without having to sort of wait for paper announcements that may give them a week to prepare their proposals. You, you, you had all those, ad BIMCOM had all those advantages apart from allowing scientists to communicate amongst themselves in different, in different parts of Africa. I always have in mind a picture of the rotary uh, telephone your picture, the difference having a rotary telephone and having a satellite link makes to uh, scientific work in a developing uh, environment like we have in, in Africa. And I think with MIMCOM was a very good intervention. Uh, I think most of the, the countries that benefited from that project are still using it. A few have upgraded their system such that they are going off the VSAT arrangement. But it was a very good start because you only change the VSAT arrangement. As to the server and the other things that came with it, they are still there. And you can all just switch the platform and you'll be all right.